Hi, I'm Paul Becker, the choreographer of Wreck-It Ralph 2, Ralph Breaks the Internet. And I'm sure you're wondering, why does an animated movie need a choreographer? Well, they did. And it all started when I went to Disney Animation Studios and they showed me the storyboards. Now what storyboards are is a series of lightly drawn, lightly animated sequences that tell the story. And in this case, it was a musical number for Vanellope. And my opinion was that we could elevate this to an even bigger thing. So that's when the work started. And I redesigned all the choreography for the boards. And if we got funding to the swings today, flawless car ballet, what can it be? Can you bore it or something? And so what I did was I filmed that rehearsal. I edited it together to match the boards exactly frame for frame. And then I presented it to the directors. They had notes. The scene evolved from there. And then the animators took the footage and what they did was they used it as reference footage so they can build all of the dances because they were very particular on making it accurate. And if you watch the tap dancing in it, it's pretty dead on. And once all that's complete, it's now time for the sound design. So we went to Lucas Ranch to work with John Roche at Skywalker Studios. When I hear tap dancing, I think of the typical, you know, hearing the dancing on the marble, you know, hearing the taps, hearing them really just out on their own. But of course, this routine is not unlike La La Land where it's gonna be on vehicles. Can you explain to me the history of this piece? Yes, the history of this is this was used acoustically, if you will, the, the prop for Back to the Future. So anytime yeah. Doc Brown or anybody had their hands on it, whatever, this is what we used. Doesn't look like it, but we did. <laughs> so anytime the door opened, the door closed, yep. anything. That's right. Great. That's the DeLorean right there. It was very difficult to balance in the car doors and it wasn't making clear sounds because it was indenting. So what we did was we put the tap shoes on our hands and we recreated all the sounds frame by frame with our hands and tap shoes. And we got it. 